zoom out. Oh yeah. Do you find sometimes where you realise I've not drank that much today? And then when you do take a drink, you're like, this is like the best drink in the world. It could be some of the modern day like water. I've just got water in my cup. No, what, what? Words. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Disney Shrine. If you are new here, I talk about Disney, so I have a collection, as you may be able to see behind me. I talk about all the different things uh, in my collection. Uh, sometimes it might not be stuff here, it might be jewellery, it might be um, homeware, it might be mugs that I've got. So if you love Disney, then keep on watching. I do actually do a giveaway, so if you'd like to know how to enter, then please stay to the end of the video and I'll give all the details there. So this video is actually about Belle... Mm. So this video, <laughs> that's a great start. <laughs> so this video is actually about Belle in her blue dress. She is actually my favourite Disney princess. Uh, the reason being is because blue was my favourite colour growing up. She was only Disney princess to have brunette hair, so I kind of related to her a bit more. So the first item I'm going to show you is this one here. This is the Funko Pop of Belle in her blue dress. You can actually get other ones in this range, so you can get Cogsworth, uh, Lumia, um, Chip and Mrs. Paws as a set as well, but I only have these ones because mm, I only have this one because to be honest, they're not really my favourite characters, so I only get Funko Box and characters I actually do like. The reason why I picked this one today is because I do actually have quite a few Funko Pops, but this is one of my favourite ones just because I find it so rare to get Belle in her blue dress. So, like I said in other videos, I think it might be my Beauty and the Beast Zoom Zoom uh, video. I do find it rare when I find Belle in a blue dress just because she's so... Uh, everyone knows her as her... her blah, 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 blah. Everyone knows her in her yellow dress, so when you get in a blue dress, I do find it a little bit... Rarer is not a word. Stop saying the word rarer. <sighs> so... <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Um... So yeah, so I like this one. Uh, it is quite cute because it's got her uh, holding her basket. Um, I like this one because it's actually got her wearing her white apron, which sometimes you don't actually get the white apron because obviously that's an accessory that sometimes she wears, sometimes she doesn't. Um, I do like the fact they've added the extra detail in it with the little um, hair bit, obviously that she's known for, on the basis that the actress who actually voiced her, uh, Paige O'Hara, she actually had a bit of hair, so they incorporated it into Belle look on the basis that when she was doing the voice she kept on moving it out of her face so they said that's something obviously characteristic that Belle could have so I do like the fact they've actually added that little detail into it as well this one I think I I think I actually got this from Amazon originally it is probably still available on certain sites for example Amazon HMV Funko Pop them actually Funko Pop themselves words so this one isn't um impossible to get it's just not well known this one actually says it comes from series six and it's number 90 so i'm not sure how many in that series they've actually got to know how far back you need to to look to to get this one but like i said i'm pretty sure you can still get it um in in other shops oh they might still have it on the toys r us website uh, if not like i said amazon would be the best place to go <sighs> I, I think I actually got this one for about £10 because when Pops first came out they were roughly about £10, maybe £12. I have noticed some of them now, same size, they are now doing them for 15 so if you can get it for around about 10 that's the type, if you can get it for around about £10 that's the kind of price I feel like this should be. I don't know if I... So, ooh, shiny. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, uh, this one I actually got from Asda. Uh, it was in an offer, I think, two for ten pounds at the time I bought it, which was 2015, I believe. I got this one, and I also got the Aurora one, which which I can't get, so I'm not gonna. You're gonna, you're gonna have to wait another video for that. I can't get it out at the moment. This one actually, because if you don't know, Asda is the British version of Target, no, Walmart. It's actually got a sticker on there that says only at Walmart, so Walmart is the American version. Sorry, cat. <laughs> 
So Walmart is the American version and Asda is the English version. So I really like the uh, dress on this one. Uh, yet again, it's her in a blue dress. The, it, it's kind of a bit weird. The top uh, corset bit, I guess, but looks plastic. So the actual top bit is uh, like embroidered so it's not like the film where I was in the film it's just plain so the top bit's obviously got a bit of detail on it, it's got a bit of glitter on it but like I said it's kind of plastic looking whereas the rest of the dress is actual fabric the sleeves look a bit plastic as well so I don't think the sleeves are um, fabric but the sleeves do have a bit of detail on it I do like the fact that there's a bit of detail on her apron as well so it's got like a little flower on it, I guess a rose uh, which is nice her hair detail, to be honest, I've just now noticed the actual hair bun that she's got uh, does look a little bit like the Emma Watson version where it's kind of not just tied back but it's kind of got a bit of a twist in it as well. The only thing I would say in this light, so I'm not sure if it's a natural light, it's the same, but her hair looks a little bit reddish rather than brown. So it could be a case of, for example, this doll could have... Uh, a generic look and then they just put the clothes on to make obviously them look like the character they're supposed to look like. I did actually like the box of this, the only thing I was disappointed with is that the fact that the picture of Belle is her in a yellow dress whereas the actual doll is in a blue dress. So for me it would have been nice to have them looking the same. It is nice on the back, it's got a picture obviously with uh, Belle, Beast, Cogsworth and Lumiere so that's quite nice. £7.50 is not too bad to pay if you're going to buy it anyway, I think that's quite a reasonable price for the doll. So this one actually came out of a set, this was, it came in two sets actually, so you could either get the one set with the princesses that had, if I remember, I think there were six in each, so there was two sets where uh, one half had some of the princesses in and the other half had the others. And then the other thing, which is what I got, where you got a big one where it had all of them in them. So personally, because I wanted to get all the princesses, uh, I actually got this one in the bigger set because I didn't want to spend more money. It, it worked out more money to buy the two than it did to buy um, the bigger one. So I actually got this one from the Disney store. I really like this one because um, the dress is actually glitter so the only thing that's not glitter is her apron and obviously her top underneath which is white so anything that's blue is actually glitter so it's quite pretty. I don't remember who came with this. With the set you, oh Philippe. With the set, I was trying to remember them, with the set you actually got uh, one Disney character and then one say psychic. I was trying to remember who uh, Belle came with, but she actually came with Philippe, which, which to be honest, I don't think I still have. I think I did actually give him to charity because some of the characters I didn't want to keep. So, um, because my mum works at a charity shop, I just gave them to, to her to, to give to charity. So I do have the other ones. Like I said, it came with uh, quite a few princesses. It came with ones that were eye class unusual, so say for example Picontus was in there, uh, Tiana was in there, uh, Mulan was in there, so what I would class is not the traditional princesses which is like the, the standard six like Snow White, Aurora, Sleeping Beauty, that kind of uh, kind of thing. So the reason why I liked the, the bigger pack was because um, there was more characters in there that you wouldn't normally get in sets. Uh, it is cute on the basis that she's got a, li a little basket which has got a little, little bread in it so I like the little details like that when they do actually add uh, props like that into it. So the last one on my list, I'm going to talk about this one. Uh, this one, I, it actually is personal to me because a couple of years ago I was going through a bit of a rough time in my life and I, so I bought this one as a pick-me-up. Um, I actually got it from Amazon. It's one of the uh, showcase collection range. So this one's called Belle, Beautiful Belle. So yeah, so these ones you can get, I've seen them in, so I've seen them on Amazon. Seen them, uh, Clinton's. Um, Oh, jewellery shops like H. Samuels, things like that. So this one you can still get, it's still available. Uh, extinct is not the word to use. Extinct, no. It's not like they're gonna... So it's not like they're gonna stop doing them. <laughs> oh, God. 
So I really like the uh, showcase ones on the basis that it's like a normal traditional uh, Disney character but it's just the detail they put on it. So for example on this one you've got the detail all on her dress. And they also have the detail along the actual base as well. Yeah, so it's a really... Ooh. It's just a really nice pose that I like. It's just her with um, some, some roses. It's just really pretty. Like I said, I really like the detail on it. It's quite sturdy because obviously the base is really flat. Though you do tend to find that they have, um, I guess, little stoppers on them. Little things just to kind of, like, rubber... Rubber patches, I guess. So, for example, if you pull it on something, it's not really going to slide around because you've got these to, to help it. Oh, I'm Belle. You know, like some roses. <laughs> If I remember rightly, I think she was roughly about 15, 20 pounds when I bought her. That was in 2015, so that was quite a while ago because we're currently in 2018. Right, at the end of the video now, so the giveaway. So all you have to do is like and share, no? What do you have to do? So all you have to do is uh, like and Subscribe, that's the word I'm looking for. So please like and subscribe this video. Uh, then if you'd like to go to my Instagram page and follow me over there. And then if you go to my Fancy Arts Facebook page and like that. Once you've done that, if you can write in the comment section of this video that you've done that, you automatically be entered into the competition. So basically I'm going to pick three of you at random when I get to 50 subscribers. This channel is still new so I'm trying to make it really easy for you guys. So once I get to 50, I'll pick three of you at random and you three will get to pick any picture you want from my Facebook page. Uh, it comes in A4 canvas. Uh, I stopped saying um. <laughs> comes A4 canvas and you get free PMP. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like me to, to do in a, a future video, let me know. I do have a few videos already lined up of things I'd like to show you guys. Uh, one of them is a Disney store haul because I actually bought some Disney stuff on their website recently. I think that's it. So yeah, so please like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you next video. Later days.